Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, death. the most venomous snake in the world is the one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Attempt to pack up uh, uh, some mambas, not some jammies. What? You see all this strange stuff, don't you, Slinky? Huh? Yeah, it looks unusual, huh? Yeah, you don't want to be out right now. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some more fun than you know what to do with. And uh, uh, I have my bag here partially uh, uh, opened. It doesn't quite fit uh, John's uh, quick bagger, but uh, I'll try to work with it nonetheless. So I guess the first one that I'll uh, pack up is the uh, larger South African. Uh, hi. Who's coming over, huh? Hi, Kermit. Is that you, Kermit? Huh? Uh, I think the South African is sort of in shed. So this is always uh, an interesting prospect because That is a very wacky green mamba. It hasn't been handled a lot. You know, sometimes it's just better to let them go shooting all over the place. Huh? Oh, I know you don't, you don't want to do that, do you, huh? All right, relax, 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 relax. That's a nice male, huh? All right, relax, relax. Yeah, that's the problem when they start to turn and look at you. Oh, there's a good place to go. No, 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 we don't want to do that. We want to go into the bag, huh? We want to go into that bag. things to always remember is mambas are notorious bite through the bag snakes. Uh, so the last thing you really want to do is have your fingers uh, end up on the bag in any way, shape, or form. His head is, is quite close up. And unfortunately, Mr. Forceps doesn't want to lock in the closed position. You know why, everybody? Because they're cheap crap that's made in Pakistan. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I wouldn't want to upset any of our sensitive international friends. Um, but I call it like I see it. Yeah, 
you know, that's one of the problems today is everybody doesn't want to pay a whole lot for something. Therefore, we buy from these Neanderthal type countries that really uh, haven't evolved much from the Stone Age, but have nuclear weapons in some cases. Uh, it uh, totally, uh, totally blows my mind that we uh, work with these people because uh, next to the uh, definition of human rights violations is the picture of this particular any some of these countries. Notice how in particular I am really um, subsequently we have to in order to keep her feeding properly we should uh, be trying not to, to put my fingers on the back so to speak. Open and Kermit is just not uh, not interested in going anywhere, uh, which is just fine. <clears throat> okay, now that is a boy. Hi, Kermit. bigger of the two girls and the reason why I'm sending the bigger of the two girls off is primarily because the bigger of the two girls uh, will eat anything that I put in that cage that uh, uh, smells like food. The smaller of the two just really really doesn't like to eat anything uh, that's not a chick. She's a chick specialist, what can I say? You have to uh, give her what she wants. Thanks, like Dan, you're due to shed, huh? Okay. Uh, as wacky as the male was, the females are just a holy terror. Hi, how are you, huh? You have an eye count that you retained, didn't you? I've had this uh, gal since like the fall of mm, 2005, I think, and uh, her first bad shed ever when she's uh, going to be uh, leaving uh, uh, my care. Hi, how you doing? You're the small girl, huh? Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, normally if I open the door, they would be over here uh, saying food, food, food. But they know uh, something is, is not quite right. Hi. Hi. 
They're very, very perceptive animals. I mean, even the gaboon is up at the front of the cage. Now, the only way I distinguish these two apart is by the head size uh, and overall size. The, the girl that I want Okay, you go up, you go down. Now people, don't panic if she shoots out. I know I won't. Actually, uh, having her shoot out will actually, whoa, facilitate me. Come on, come on. Now are you the right one or the wrong one? Okay, you go back there. I don't want you, I want the other one. I want the other one. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. Come on. Come on. All right, now's the tricky part. Here. Try going down for once in your life. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's amazing how fast they can shoot up demeanor of uh, of Kermit. Easy, bud. Come on. Relax. Relax. You're not going anywhere. Here you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. You're good. 
See, look at Kermit. Kermit's been uh, around for a long time with me, and uh, there's a lot more trust in Bob. Go ahead. Man. Here you go. All right, everybody calm down. Relax. And, uh, all right, let me uh, label these up. I don't need to burn film and bore you to death uh, while I do that. And then move on to uh, the other critters. Okay. Now it's time to get the ring calls ready to travel. Hey, how you doing? Huh? Uh, you're going to be difficult, huh? One thing I'll say for sure, these guys are very, very uh, slick movers, fast movers. There you go. Go in. In, 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 in. There we go. See, that's how we uplex things. It, uh, has a tendency to Keep some of the hair on your head a natural color and not uh, prematurely gray like mine. Okay, let's set this aside. I'll clean it in a little while. We'll save the mail for last. <clears throat> because the mail is is really quite challenging to work with. Hello. This is a young female. Hello. These things don't hook very well. Uh, they they have it this bad tendency just to slide off the hook like a wet noodle. Oh no, come on. In you go, girly. In you go. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> uh oh. You try to do it too fast and you can run into difficulties also. Substrate. That's good enough. I'm getting everybody all agitated. Quick movements really sort of annoy these guys. counterbalance okay now let's get the fire hose this guy is always a problem he spits <laughs> and he's quite uh, testy Ooh, ooh, easy, easy, Mr. Hamachidis. There you go. Get in there, you foul creature, you. Okay. And that's how we uplex things. It, uh, it saves lots of wear and tear. It's quick and it's much safer than, uh, than most things we'd be doing. 
Yeah, I'll give you guys more. Just relax for a few minutes. Well, this is, uh, hopefully will be as uneventful as the others, but this one is uh, perhaps the uh, most dangerous of the bunch. Uh, because it's a fairly sizable gaboon, certainly capable of, of a very life-threatening envenomation. And she's a no-joke snake, so... I would really like to get her in this smaller bag, uh, but I have a bigger bag if necessary. It's just that it's just as dangerous to try to put the big bag in the little bag, and uh, it's just a uh, just a problem. Okay, I think the first step we do is to signal the gaboon that we're not here to feed her. And I think she'll get the picture fairly quick when I put the hooks on her. if I could get her to crawl in the bag, but uh, that isn't going to happen. Hi. Yeah, that's different, huh? Very different. Uh, come on there, big girl. Yeah, how about that? Isn't she pretty? <laughs> That's not a uh, friendly posture she has there. Oh, so this is going to be the troublemaker of the bunch. Huh? I see. Gaboons can move remarkably fast when they really want to. <laughs> oh, you didn't think a gaboon could move like that, huh? Well, that sucks. Hey there, big girl. <clears throat> 
See folks, this is why I put these on uh, wheels. Because I remember at the old lair, having to uh, having to pick up and physically move cage after cage until I got the snake to where I could grab it. Yes, that is outside, but you are not going there just yet. Now let this be a lesson to you folks. Gabooms are very quick when they want to be. And she hasn't even started to get pissy yet. Uh, she's in escape mode. And when she gets into foul mode... You're going to see me do some hopping. Huh? Yeah. Go into the sack. Now, if you think she can't get out of there and leap out, you're wrong, because I know she can. Remember, if I can see her, she can see me. Now just remember, let this be a lesson to you. Uh, she may look like a slug sitting there. But large bitis can really, really move when they want to. And she wasn't even, even at half speed. Not to mention her strike ability would be huge.
Okay. That's a wrap.